Okay, up front here, there's a uh, big anchor locker. Got a uh, couple of light, uh, light switches here. I don't have them turned on, but you have uh, your light switches here uh, for up here. Um, again, the neat thing about this anchor locker is uh, you have the anchor up front, and then you also have a little Danforth. Is it is big enough? I'm a big guy, and I can stand up right there, and I can handle the whole anchor process. And so I really, really like this. You just open this here, and you are out, and you got a lot of control over that. You don't have to stand out on the bow. It's raining, you don't even have to get wet, really. So, that is really good. There's a Samson post anchored to the stem. Lots of room up there, but not quite enough room to make a bed. Um, you could kind of put a single bed if you needed to by folding out this and closing the doors and building up some padding for it. Um, that would make a nice angle. Storage locker on the side. Again, tons of room over here. Uh, fire extinguisher. More storage over here. Get your life vest fenders over here. The other blower motor is right there. Never bent. There's your steering gear. And then Underneath the helm, there's one underneath the helm here. Here is your, there's your air tank for your horn, some storage, uh, the gearing, which is on a nice reduction gear to make that a very, very comfortable helm. And then you got your transmission link linkage and throttle, it's all built in there. I think previously the steering gear was direct mounted here, uh, but I guess he wanted it higher and he wanted a reduction gear, or actually that's an increase gear, um, so he moved it. Uh, if I was building something into the V-Birth like a kitchen or something, which that's another design, is to have that as a, uh, a kitchen up front. Um, I would probably move it back or move the head over or whatever because it is just, uh, maybe put on a little bigger wheel, then it'd be more comfortable. But anyway, plenty of stuff in there. Um,. You can really see here what nice wood he used for this. A lot of it's solid oak frames everywhere. You can see everything's epoxied over. He didn't really finish it, he kind of slathered it on, but it's, it's nice and thick. <clears throat> 